Hey everyone, welcome back to Scalar. This is Aman and I hope you all are doing good. Today, in this tutorial, we are going to build rock, paper and scissor game. So, the basic rule of this is like scissor beats paper, paper beats rock and rock beats scissor. So, this is the basic rule and uh, let me show uh, how it looks initially. Uh, initially, it's like this. Select one, two, play. I can select any of these three. Uh, let's start with the scissor. And I have selected scissor, computer has selected paper. So obviously I have won, right? So this is how it works. You select one, computer will select one and it will tell you who has won, right? So let's just start it. Start with creating our HTML file, CSS file, and last but not the least, script file. That is JavaScript. First of all, let's have a boilerplate. Give this title. Uh, rock paper scissor okay so let's discuss uh, how we can create the structure uh, if you uh, if we look here carefully we will observe there is a one big container inside this we have heading select one to play then we have these three icons right and after that we have again heading and again two icons and at the end we have uh, the result right so let's just have a one container um, basically i do having class name container container inside this let's have a heading h2 of select one to play select one to play okay so far so good now uh, let's have another container for our selection or uh, we can call it icon container icon container inside this we are going to have three icons dot icon into three we'll have three dips of class icon great i'm not citing icon putting icons here as of now we'll put once the structure is complete uh, again uh, now we have another container let's assume this we have one more container this much okay so it's a selection so so it's a selection uh selection yeah spelling it right selection container inside this we are going to have two divs one div for you and another one for computer so dot u and uh, uh, dot com Com for computer now we have a heading let's have h2 heading here h2 heading here uh, it's like here we have u and here we have com right and inside this we have another icon so let's have icon here and icon here as well right cool and last container last container is going to be result or we can call it scoreboard or let's just have a result uh, result right so yeah our uh, structure is completed let's go live and see how it looks without styling and icons so this is how it looks let's just add icons for that uh, I'm going to go font awesome dot com slash icons okay uh, and now we have uh, we do have hand here uh, it's a uh, paper right so before that uh, let's just uh, have font awesome cdn cdn so that it's a uh, link to our project click on the copy link tag add it to our project it's added and pick first of all let's have hand uh, paper one uh, it uh, let's have it in the second now uh, hand rock we have this hand rock After hand rock, uh, I think uh, we have scissor, right? Scissor. Okay, here we do have this. Uh, let's put it here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, we do have three icons, right? And uh, uh, put some icons here as well. After you and comp. So, let's move scissor. Scissor as of now. It's going to be static as of now. So I put it here. Yeah. And uh, inside result, uh, let's just have H1 or instead of, yeah, let's just have H1 inside this. 
now and say uh, you want all draw So yeah, uh, structure is completed now. This is how it looks. Now let's move to style R. Rock, paper, scissor game. Make sure to link your CSS file. Link um, style, not script, style.css. By default to all, margin zero, padding zero, box size in border box, and font family on family sans serif okay uh, let's take our container to the center by giving its parent display flex uh, align item center justify the content to the center itself and give it some height and width uh, height is 100 vh and width 100 vw let's see how it looks uh, so yeah this is how it looks now uh, let's come to the container and uh, no, i think spelling is wrong uh, container or uh, give it some height and width uh, let's see so uh, give 600 pixel 600 pixel uh, it has if you focus here it has some box shadow as well right and background color uh, background color uh, i think it's light gray light gray it is okay now uh, give some box shadow offset from x zero offset from y zero and let's give 10 pixel and what pixel uh, the color is burly wood okay uh, this looks good and uh, yeah uh, now what do we have uh, we have uh, icon container and h2 oh, icon container h2 so let's just uh, see to our h2 give some padding one wrap okay and uh, padding to the container as well so uh, two wrap padding mm. and uh, r h2 or oh, text align to the center it is in the center now cool um, so far so good now uh, let's uh, go to icon container icon container um, first of all or uh, display flex so it's a uh, it is in the one row increase the font size to 5 rep so that it looks bigger cool or uh, give them with 100 percent 100 percent now i can use uh, the um, justify content to space evenly and uh, align item to the center mm, this looks good cool uh, and uh, uh, if you notice here uh, while hovering on it it gets uh, it it scaled out right and uh, notice here not all the all not all of the icons has this effect only the icons which are inside icon container so i can just simply go here and say uh icon container uh dot icon hover uh transform or uh, scale it to mm, 1.4 and the animation is uh, happening at the faster pace so i can just simply say here uh to icon container or in icon mm, Rather than uh, giving font size uh, 5 rem it to container, let's just give it to icon only so that uh, it gets applied to these icons as well, right? And the uh, transition effect, uh, let's uh, give it all 0.5 second, okay? Oh, this looks nice now, right? and uh, uh, to our icon container uh, give it height 40 percent okay cool now let's come to the uh, selection container dot selection container selection container uh, it has two things right uh, it has a u and com so let's just give it display flex good Mm, with uh, 100% as to this as well and uh, justify the content to uh, space around or space evenly uh, good 
or space evenly and uh, one thing uh, to our icons so just give them color burly wood cool this does looks good mm. and at last we have a draw that is actual text align it to the center and give it some height to like 40 percent or remaining height we have given to this even though i don't give it any height it will take good 40 percent of all the height i've given icon container 40 percent and let's just give a uh, to our selection container 30 percent uh, 30 percent okay uh, this does looks good uh, our styling is completed now and uh, in the next part of the video we'll be implementing the logic like we'll be implementing the functionality when i click on this any of the when i click any of the uh, choices which we which i have uh, how it works right so yeah this is for the this first part we'll be completing this in the next part and if you have any doubt please leave a comment for that and do not forget to like the hit the like button and subscribe through the channel bye